Hello there, I'm Dile and welcome to the introduction video of what's hopefully going to be a full series of how to assemble a Beagle Standard 3D printer. The Beagle Standard is the middle of three models developed by the Dutch company RepRepWorld.com. This first video will cover my history with 3D printers leading up to the purchase uh, of, uh, of the Beagle Standard. And all other subsequent videos will cover the uh, actual build. I'll probably make some uh, adjustments and modifications to a printer right from the start uh, uh, along with, with building it. But there are still mainly uh, ideas in my head and we'll have to see what actually is going to be implemented or not. Uh, but I will let you know when, when I actually change anything. Uh, my fascination with 3D printers actually started uh, way back at college where we had uh, a 2.5D uh, milling machine and a 3D printer with which print, uh, printed pl uh, plaster parts which were very flimsy and once treated with uh, cyanoacrylate or uh, epoxy uh, they lost their uh, accurate measurements so you couldn't really use it. Two years ago yeah, uh, though uh, I came by a Kickstarter project for uh, a very tiny uh, SLA printer, the iBox Mini. And it looks very promising, so I backed it. Uh, it turned out to be a really big scam. Uh, so, I, in the end I barely got my money back from the credit card company. But uh, that was the end of it. Um, but what I did do in the meantime was playing around with 3D printers at the Fab Lab in Zoetermeer. Uh, and I really got the hang of it. So that was when I decided that I would want to check out and check out back again into the 3D printers. 3D printers, uh, especially in China, already got uh, a lot cheaper. Uh, at, that at that moment you could buy a 3D printer for about 300 euros, excluding uh, import taxes of course. Mm, but what set me back on that was uh, the total lack of support actually and not knowing what you get uh, right from the start. So I didn't really have the confidence I really needed to, for, for such, a, such a purchase. So what I did was uh, I did something quite different. I built one myself. It's right behind me. Right there. This is a really tiny 3D printer and I built it from two DVD uh, drives and a floppy drive. Uh, the extruder is from an old discarded printer and pretty much everything was just scrap laying around in my garage. Uh, I only had to buy like the Arduino and ramps uh, electronics and the hot end of course and, and the bottom tube which set me back for about 35 euros. And hey, it's functional, it works. Uh, it's just very tiny. The build area of this printer is uh, a whopping 37 by 37 by 14 millimeters. So, yes, it's fun. It works, it works quite well actually. Mm, but I wanted more, of course. Uh, so that was when I decided I should go for a real proper 3D printer now. Again, I checked uh, the internet, uh, the Chinese websites. Um, I checked some other stuff. I settled for really wanting a Delta, especially after visiting RepRepWorld.com uh, a little over a month ago at one of their beer and pizza ses uh, sessions. They hold their be beer and pizza sessions actually every first Thursday of the month. And it was really good. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I got a lot of uh, feedback and, and tips. And actually that was when I decided I really, really wanted a, a, a Delta 3D printer. Not only because they just look damn nice. When, when they print it's almost like dancing. But also they're fast and they're accurate. Um, so with that knowledge I went back online check the Chinese printers, found that there were like about 200 euros. Some of them seemed decent, but I just, uh, the reviews were like wildly different. 
uh, for one printer and the one review said well this is uh, this is uh, terrific everything is fine uh, good support good manual and the other uh, review said uh, horrible printer I was missing parts there's no manual no uh, and no customer support well I expected that from China so I kind of chickened out um, and in the end I settled for like paying a lot more for uh, a Beagle standard which is compared to the Chinese uh, printers it's 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 it, it costs a lot more money uh, but I think for what you get it's it's a decent price um, because uh, the Beagle standard is uh, a decent product it's uh, well documented uh, actually the the build manual is uh, on their website so you can check the build manual ahead of actually buying the printer uh, their support is very well uh, very good uh, the company is like actually 10 kilometers away so I can drop by every uh, anytime I want ask them questions they are more than willing to talk about it they are very enthousi enthusiastic about their own products so that's I think that's a good thing um, and of course there is such a company and I feel felt better uh, bringing my money to uh, a fellow Dutch company than sending it to China so well in the end that was uh, what I settled for and I think it's uh, what I said it's quite value for money it just starts when uh, looking at how it's packed like this suitcase that's what it can, uh, comes in so it's a big and sturdy plastic suitcase uh, with nice clips it, it doesn't fall open or it doesn't break when you accidentally hit something and inside the suitcase um, everything is again packed uh, this time in cardboard uh, sorted by um, type of uh, equipment so fasteners uh, are together in one box the power supply is in its own box uh, steppers are in their own box uh, the uh, heat bed and the glass uh, build plate mirror build plate actually are together uh, also very well packed in cardboard the carbon rods for the uh, for the hot end are uh, uh, stacked away inside the steel uh, uprights so they are very well uh, protected um, so yeah uh, everything looked good um, except for one thing uh, which is uh, I don't think it's uh, I think it's an accident um, I was missing some parts because uh, well the guy uh, who I ordered it with uh, turned out to be uh, sick he went home ill so when I arrived to pick up my parcel at the next beer and pizza session they had to put my kit together in a hurry so well it's uh, shit happens uh, as soon as I discovered it I dropped them an email late night next morning I already got an email oh man we're terrible so uh, terribly sorry what are you missing uh, I sent them uh, a list uh, that's the same afternoon and a package was ready for me to come and pick up uh, after work uh, which I duly did of course and now I have everything so their support it's brilliant can't say anything it's, it's just good um, yeah that's I think pretty much everything I have to say for now uh, next uh, Next video will be a short one, I think, about prepping the wires, uh, prepping the electronics. Some wires need to be elongated, some others need to be shortened. Uh, I will do a very, you know, very short video on that. Um, so that's it for now. Stay tuned. Bye.